I recently played in Austin, Texas. It was in conjunction with a uh, food festival, because Austin, Texas is a food festival. And they were making uh, different food products that were named after musicians. And I was really happy that they made these Thurston s'mores. <laughs> but, you know, at my age, I'm in my late 50s, sugar is like wicked. Oh my God, it's just like, like the, the, the police chief in The Simpsons, like when he sits at the table and he takes his belt off, he's like, boo, 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 boo. And he's like, oh dear Jesus. He's finding himself right now. And anybody who comes up in a massive boy band at that young age, you're kind of born overrated. This is <laughs> nothing, nothing you can really do about it. It's not his fault. I have seen pictures of him recently though. He's kind of has his shirt off and he's kind of, Hiding himself. It's kind of a black metal thing, right? You sort of hide, you know, you don't want to say. But that's cool. If Harry Styles is into is is into black metal. <laughs> Harry. Vaping blows. The only people who successfully vape are French people. I would be really interested to hear what she has to say in 2017, especially since the USA has been hijacked. I would hope that she would be able to come out and sort of just like, you know, throw that voice to the golden fake penis that sort of is uh, in upper midtown Manhattan and to watch it just like um, fall like this. And I would hope she would ask me to, to to join her in, in, in doing this, because I will. Cassettes and CDRs, it's like, well, there was really just, people were just really doing it. You know, making actual physical, you know, things. As opposed to like, what it's become now, where it's just like, you know, put your shit up on SoundCloud, you know, keep doing it. Um, that's fine, it's great, it's an open library, it's a utopia, that's what we've been working for, is here it is. But make that book, Make that cassette, make that record, whatever you, what kind of coin you have, you know, it's just like, you, you can make something. You don't have to do that. But I mean, if you really want to know like what my advice is, give things to people that way. You know, maybe they'll, maybe, <laughs> I mean, you know, maybe they'll, they'll put it on the table, but at least it'll be there. I mean, it's just this thing, it emanates. It's a brain dead exercise of um, plastic sound. <laughs> I'm sorry, I actually really like a lot of techno. I think it really needs to be, it needs to really be discussed in a, in a more um, a kind of academic way than, you know, just as a music for ding-dongs who like to, to snort coke and try to get laid, but they're not going to, so they're just stuck with their shitty techno records. It's not that. I think it needs to be discussed more, more, more academically. And I think we should. <laughs> oh man, have you heard my techno record? <laughs>